Okay, hi. Um, I'm Elizabeth, if you guys don't know who I am. Um, and I'm here today to share my testimony. Um, this is the story that God has been writing in my life. Um, here we go. I was born in a Christian household, and I've always felt close with God, but um, when I was younger, I used to be afraid that I wasn't a real Christian, but um, so I kept, um, you know, the magic prayer that um, they say all new believers say to get accepted. Like, I probably said that prayer at least 10 times throughout my life because I was really insecure in my faith. So I don't have like a special moment when I actually accepted Christ, but when I was in seventh grade, I um, really picked up my Bible and started reading, and that actually um, made a huge difference in my life. Like, um, if any of you guys really aren't struggling in your faith, or if you're just here and you're like, I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus, like, just, you should probably just pick up the Bible and read it, like, for 10 minutes a week or something, something at least. It really makes a difference. Um, so um, that helped me start build a relationship with God. And um, I do know that I don't have to be afraid anymore because I have a relationship with God. And that's probably one of the best things ever. So you guys should do that. Um, uh, so that um, this is one of the best ways to build a relationship. Um, so tonight I'm going to be sharing what my walk with God has been like. So basically the relationship I have with God and um, everything I'm doing right now terrifies me. Um, so my whole life I have experienced social anxiety so people scare me. So right now talking to you guys scares me and being up here right now is really scary because without God, I would probably be hiding in the bathroom right now. <laughs> so um, God has been working with me through this. Um, so I'm here, guys, <laughs> and I'm sharing my testimony. Um, so when I was younger, um, I found out I had a peanut allergy, and that probably wouldn't seem significant to any of you guys, but um, when you're younger and you have an allergy, they set you apart from everyone else, and you have to sit alone at lunch. So I didn't have any friends at all, and um, it was probably one of the worst experiences I've had in my life because I had no close friends, and I would watch all the other kids laughing and talking and wondering why I couldn't be like them, be a part of this. So um, that was really hard for me because I learned that people have the power to leave you, and you could be alone. But God never left me. Um, God was there, and when I felt invisible to the world, God saw me. Um, when I was alone, God was with me. And um, so, like, one of the verses that really spoke to me was Joshua 1 9, because um, I always I have fear and stuff. It says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Hmm. So, um, Whenever you're going through a tough time or anything, just know God is there. Even if you haven't accepted him, he's watching over you, even if you're not a Christian. He, he cares about you. So, um, but I didn't know this at the time, but when my parents found out, they were upset and asked my teacher to do something. So God actually did do something for me. Um, she came into the lunchroom and got people to sit near me, which was huge for me. Um, I've always had a hard time socializing. So getting over my fear of people. So like, I, I can socialize now, but it's just really hard for me. Um, but every bad memory I have, I can somehow look back on and see God there. So um, like in Romans 8, 28, I, it says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So um, any difficult things you're going through or anything that just doesn't make sense to you at all, that really sucks and is really hard for you, God is there and he is working through it. Like the most comforting verses I found throughout my walk with God have all have a 
recurring theme about God being there that um, is telling you not to be afraid because he is there. And um, my greatest fear is being alone. And I know I'm never alone because God is there. So that is huge. Um, I have lots of stories about how I felt God's presence. Um, I, I'm 16, so I have a driver's permit and I was learning how to drive. And um, there was this person who didn't stop even though I had the right away and they just kept coming faster. And I do not know how I found that break. I just know it's gotta be God who stopped the car and stopped us from having an accident. Um, there was other times where, even when I was like a child, I had stupid prayers about like asking, not stupid, there's no such thing as a stupid prayer, but like silly prayers like for toys and stuff. And like, sometimes God even answered that. So like, I can't look back on a memory and on a prayer I prayed and not think about like, see how it's been answered or is being answered or know that God's working on it. Like, um, who went to NTS, which is awesome. Um, there was someone there that um, was my sister's friend from school, and we hadn't seen her in a while, and she brought her to youth group once. And I was looking back at my prayer journal and found out I had prayed for her to come to know Christ, and she accepted Christ that week. And it was three years earlier that I had prayed for that. Like, God answers prayers, like, even if it's once. When you pray for someone, and you don't even remember it, God is going to listen. So prayer makes a difference. He is there. He's listening. Mm -hmm. um, so um, uh, God's always been there for me, and he's done so much for me. Um, I'm pretty sure God has had a hand in my life, and he's having a hand in yours. So um, right now I'm just trusting God and walking with him and learning to know him more. And I'm just trying to work through life. Um, a year ago, I wasn't even really coming to youth group because the social as aspect. But here I am, and I'm on the impact team now, and I'm in a D group, Kate's D group on Wednesday. Join a D group, guys. It's great. Um, so now I'm here sharing my testimony, and it's all because of God, and that's my testimony.